सम प्रॉब्लम ऑन एस एफ डी एंड बी एम डी फॉर कैंटी लीवर बीम्स यर वी वुड बी डीलिंग ओनली इन कैंटी लीवर बीम्स लेट एस स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट इज मैं अ कैंटी लीवर बीम एज शोन इन फिगर द डायग्राम इज गिवेन वी हैव टू ड्रॉ एस एफ डी एंड बी एम डी फॉर दिस बीम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट द डेटा फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन we are in question number 1 for cantilever beams the data is given in the form of a diagram this is the diagram which is given in the question we have to draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for this beam so starting the solution the first step is calculation of support reaction here as we have cantilever beam which is fixed at one end so there will only be reaction at this one end there won't be reaction at the free end here i have ra this value which i have to calculate so it can be simply calculated by saying summation of fy is equal to 0 that is the sum of all vertical forces 0 upward forces are positive and downward forces negative so hence here i can say ra is upward so positive Minus one downward, minus two it is downward, and minus three, that's equal to zero. So R A value will be this will be minus six. If I shift it onto the other side, that becomes six kilonewton. So here is my first step where I've calculated the support reaction at the fixed end. Now after this, I will write down S F calculation. here i am mentioning a point that for cantilever beams start sf calculations from free end here i have written a note that if you are calculating for cantilever beams then start your shear force calculation from the right hand side that is the free end now here i will be marking the convention first upward force to the left of section downward force to the right of section are positive downward force to the left of section and upward force to the right of section are negative so first i will be calculating sf at point b that will be equal to here i am starting from the free end i will take the section just to the left of b and if i see here to the right of this section i have 3 kN load which is downward so if there is downward load to the right that is positive so here i have plus 3 kN next sf at point d will be equal to here i will be taking the section just to the left of d so here i have two forces that is plus 3 plus 2 that becomes plus 5 then sf at point c it will be equal to taking the section to the left of c 3 plus 2 plus 1 Plus six kilonewton. 
So these are the shear forces value which we have. Based on this, we can draw the shear force diagram. And for that, we have to draw the cantilever beam again. This is the cantilever beam which they have given in the problem. So for drawing the shear force diagram, we have to project all the points downward. Point A, then point C. Point D. and point B as we know the length of shear force diagram should be equal to the length of the beam here I have calculated shear force from the free end so the first value was shear force at point B that was 3 kN At point D, the value was 5. At C, the value was 6 kN. Now, between B to D, there is no load. So, shear force remains constant between B to D. Then, at point D, because of 2 kN load, there is an increase up to 5 kN. After that, again, since there is no load between D to C, so we have a straight line between D to C. Next, here there is an increase up to 6 kN. And finally, the load remains constant. All values of shear force are positive, so they are plotted above. And this is the SFD which we have. Here we have the shear force diagram. Now below this we would be drawing the bending moment diagram. For that I will say that it is my step number 3. That is BM calculations. Remember the first point that for cantilever beams bending moment at free end is zero. This point we have to remember. So here if we see at point B since it is free end bending moment will be zero moment at B is equal to 0. I can write down since it is free end. Next, if I want to calculate moment at D, I'll write down bending moment at D is equal to drawing the sign convention. Clockwise moment to the left and anti-clockwise moment to the right are positive. Anti-clockwise moment to left and clockwise moment to right are negative. So here if I see, if I am calculating the bending moment at point D, so my section is at D and to the right of D I have only one force 3 kN which would be producing a clockwise moment. So clockwise moment to the right is negative. So here I have minus 3 into 1 that's minus 3 kN meter. Now bending moment at C is equal to here I have to the right of section 2 forces because of 3 kN and 2 kN both are clockwise. So to the right of section if we have clockwise moment that is 
नेगेटिव सो यर आई हैव माइनस थ्री इंटू द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन पॉइंट सी एंड अप टू दिस एंड दैट इज वन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स सो यर आई हैव माइनस थ्री इंटू वन पॉइंट फाइव देन टू इंटू दिस डिस्टेंस इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स देर फॉर मोमेंट एट सी कम्स आउट टू बी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव विद अ नेगेटिव साइन किलो न्यूटर मीटर एंड एट लास्ट वी हैव बेंडिंग मोमेंट एट पॉइंट ए इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री इंटू टू पॉइंट फाइव माइनस टू इंटू वन पॉइंट फाइव माइनस वन इंटू वन सो इफ आई कैलकुलेट दिस आई वुड बी गेटिंग द आंसर ऑफ मोमेंट एट ए इज इक्वल टू इलेवन पॉइंट फाइव किलो न्यूटन मीटर so these are the values of bending moment which we have based on these values we can easily draw the bending moment diagram as we know the length of bending moment diagram will also be equal to the length of the beam at point b the bending moment is 0 at point d the value is 3 at c it is 5.5 at a it is 11.5 wherever shear force is a straight line a constant line bending moment will be an inclined line you can see that all these they are straight lines throughout all the values are negative so here is the bending moment diagram which we have as mentioned in the question we have completed the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram and with this the problem gets completed